Happy Friday, everybody. Thank you so much for joining our little mindful break. It's cold and rain here, and it's perfect for yoga. I hope you are doing well. And um, these days, my, my trees all have lost their, their leaves. And um, yes, sometimes I just wondered if they are really alive anymore, but I know that deep within this um, just check if the, the voice is okay. Voice is not okay. Okay, voice is fine now. So thank you very much for joining me. I was telling you about the, the trees that have lost their leaves. And it's true that sometimes in our lives we, we face... Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Just to make sure that you hear me. Yes? Sevin? Okay. <laughs> so, technical problems sometimes, but... Um, so I was talking about the fact that during our life period, there must be some, a few periods we, we face very low energy. And it can last for one day, one week, sometimes several months. And is it okay now to hear me? <laughs> Sorry. Just checking it out. Okay. Okay now? And so in this period of uh, low energy, we can uh, accept, accept the fact that we are low energy. Sometimes we feel that we, we, are, we put too much pressure on ourselves. We can't, we, we have a project to do, we have our website to do, we have uh, deadlines to finish. And we are sometimes very hard to ourselves. So today we are going to imitate the nature, like the trees in winter that is waiting for the spring, so we can we can have a few in poses, which is very relaxing, and um, so that we we just save this spirit of low energy and allow ourselves to accept. So I invite you to sit, sit back in a very comfortable position. Just sit, and we start with a few mindful breaths. Just simply relax, release, and start focusing on the breathing. Breathing in, I know that I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I follow my breath until the end. Breathing in, breathing out. Just feel the breath becoming softer, slower, and release all the physical tensions on the face, the arms, the belly, the shoulders. We will start first with uh, an exercise to release a few tensions on our shoulders. So you just move the right hand up and move it backward towards in, in between the shoulder blades, just like this. And then the other hand, the other arm just opening up and you will cross it and, and pick the elbow and just keep it in this position. The head will be very straight. You just simply breathe. And if you feel a little bit, you want more challenge, then you can use this hand, go down 
behind the bike and it will try to stick two arms together like this and we will stay in this position for a few seconds simply breathe It is uh, a, a pose which is very beneficial for our shoulders. And throughout the day, sometimes we don't have any opportunity to exercise our shoulders. And it is very, very good, especially in, in winter period where we don't have much opportunity to do sports. And with COVID as well. So simply just breathe and relax. And we can slowly release and take a deep breath out. Just release. Just feel that the body is releasing the tension, the hand, just the muscles have just been working. So simply release. And we're going to start with the other side. So we just the left hand up, the other hand just just opening up, and then this hand is moving down to the shoulder blades, and this we we take the elbow, and the head is straight, the back is straight. Just keep this movement, keep it still, and relax the rest of the body. Just relax all the tensions on the face. Sometimes when you do some effort and you, 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 you notice that the breath becoming a little bit shorter, we just release it and try to, to breathe longer, softer. Release tensions on the belly. And we can slowly release and take a deep breath. You can feel the shoulders, the two arms, the back releasing tension. It is lovely. From here, join the two arms, the two, two, two hands on the solid places, just like this. Move it upward, slowly, very up. And from here, you move it backward towards the, in, in, in between the shoulder blade, the same as the other, just like this. The arms, the hands, the two hands are joined and then move it backward. And the head and the shoulders must be very straight, just stay in this position. Actually, we are very elegant in this position. And it's not less challenging, indeed. It, it, there is a lot of stretch on the two sides of the, of the chest, the arms, the hands. Just focus on the breathing. And we can slowly release. Well done. Just take a deep breath out. Deep breath out. Release the tensions in the face, the hands, the arms. Breathing in, breathing out.
and we turn on the side and the two, two, two legs, the two feet we join each other, join the feet like this, and the two hands will be upward, the palm of the hands are upward, and you cross it down below the two legs and just simply move forward and just let the whole body falling on on the floor just let the body stay in the position it is comfortable with without any effort and we will stay still try to stay still for one minute we will stay still in one minute and the head will approach the two feet just like this Simply let the gravity work for you. The two palms of the hands are facing up towards the sky as a sign of receiving. The whole body is leaning up without any effort. No need to push it to achieve in any, any pose, any position. Simply let it where it goes, where it is comfortable with. Simply breathe, breathe in, breathe out, and feel the belly up and down. In Yin Yoga, when we find our pose, the edge of the position which our body is comfortable with, then we don't move anymore. We keep still in the pose for one minute or so. Just simply enjoy being. Enjoy being. You will feel the breathing coming slow and soft. Release any tensions on the face. Sometimes in life, when we do this, philosophy, the same as when we do yoga, especially in yoga, we, we have no effort, we just let things go and we follow the flow, and apparently sometimes we succeed even more, like in this pose, we don't really do anything, we don't do exercise, when, like when you do gymnastic, or when you do different sports, you feel that you need to, to try to do it, to make an effort, it's hard, but here, no, just release, relax, and receive, and the body and the gravity will just do what it needs to bring you to flexibility, to stretch, Just take a few more breaths and then we will slowly move out of the pose. Just two long breaths. Then we will slowly move up and use our two hands to push the body back as slowly as when it takes you to get down. I don't know how you feel, maybe you feel a little bit in the back, which is very, very, very lovely. Now you just release the two legs, like this. 
And we're simply the same, leaning forward, the same. So don't, there's no need to catch your feet, catch the knees, like the other pose. We just lean forward with our two hands. Your two hands could be facing up, the palm can face up. And don't stress either to, to make the, the legs straight. It can be, the, the, the knees can, can bend a little bit. Just simply make yourself comfortable. Like just move forward and stay in this position. You can feel some stretching beneath the two legs, the back, the lower part of the back. And we will stay the same one minute in this pose. Just take time to relax. And let yourself lean forward and fall forward. No stress, no objective to attain. Just let yourself let go of any tension. Just release and enjoy. It is winter time and in cold countries like in Europe. Sometimes our bodies have the need to, to be the same as nature. Like the trees, animals, we take a break from the circle of life. We allow ourselves to, to rest. Simply, simply just Feel the body, feel it, and let the body falling down naturally, let the gravity does its work for you. It is the end of the year. And I know that many of us have lots of work, lots of projects, lots of deadlines. But sometimes we really need to allow ourselves to learn back how to rest. Like there is a very beautiful saying that nature is never in a hurry but it accomplishes beautiful things. And that's what we can learn from the nature. Just take a few more breaths, and then we will slowly move out of the pose. The pose, just one and two more breaths. Slowly use your two hands to move yourself back. How are you feeling? Slowly. If you haven't done any exercise for the back since some time, then you will feel it. It's, it's having some effect. So we, we now turn back to this side. And we will stay on our knees like this. Yes. And what you can do is to slowly move yourself forward, like you will slide the two, two hands, the two hands forward, and approach the breast, the chest to the floor, like this. And at the same time, the legs and everything will stay in the same position, and put the, the head on the floor, the third eye will stay on the floor. You will feel the stretching on our shoulders, 
on the upper upper part of the back, the, sh the shoulder blades is stretching and working hard. At the same time, it's a very relaxing pose. We just simply relax. We don't do anything. We don't move. Just breathe and relax. We will stay on this pose the same for one minute. The time for our joints to, to have effect, to work and be more flexible. That is the art of in yoga. Actually, we don't move, it's complete immobility. But at the same time, it works silently under this apparent immobility. And we imitate the nature, we let the time for our body to adapt and to do what it needs to accomplish. Simply focus on the breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. There is also a pause of reverence. We learn to be more humble. We feel the earth beneath us. We are grateful for being alive. We simply breathe in and breathe out the energy of life. It works most of all for our shoulder blades, for our shoulders, the upper parts of our, our two, two arms. In one or two more breaths, we are going to go back to our normal posture. We just take advantage to take two more deep breaths. And slowly move, very slowly, because the body needs time to adapt. Move yourself up. Use the two hands, the two arms to move slowly the body back. And let yourself on the, the belly, just on the floor. Just lie down on the floor. And you can put the forehead on the two, two hands, just to relax. I can move a little bit, just relax on the floor. Just move this a little bit down so that you can see me clearly. So here, either you can just stay on the floor. The two legs will be, I mean, the two feet will, will be outward. So they are pointing outward so that you feel the inside of the legs approaching the floor and the forehead and the third eye will rest on the two hands. Your two hands are resting on the floor. Just take two deep breaths. Feel the belly 
and the legs touching the floor. If some of you want to have a little bit more challenge, then you can put yourself on the elbow, on your elbow, like this, with your chin up, the head towards the back. And this is giving some exercise to the lower back. But if you don't want, then you can stay on the board, resting on the floor. And stay in, in this pose for one minute, 30 seconds. And we can turn, round ourselves, round ourselves to on, on the back, like this. Open the two arms and move up the legs in the right angle, 90 degrees, like this. And then slowly move the whole two legs to a side. To one side, if it's on the left side, and the face will face the opposite side. So the two arms are opening up, the two legs on right angle, falling down on one side, and the, the face and the head will point out to the other side. And we will stay in this for one minute. Simply breathe. And feel the stretching. Especially one day you will feel the right shoulder blade might move a little bit out of the floor and it does not matter. Just let the body be what it is. But one day maybe you will have the shoulder blade really flat on the floor. The right shoulder blade. And that will be a day when the body is increasing its flexibility. Just feel this stretching on the upper part of the body, the arm, shoulder, a little bit on the on your rib case, cage. And the body is twisting in a very natural way. Simply release all the tension from your face. Breathe, relax. From here, we are moving slowly our legs to the central and move it to the other side. Just move it to the other side. The legs will stay in the right angle position and the head will point out to the opposite side. And the two, two arms are opening up as usual. Just stay in this position, twist the body. Relax and let it completely fall down on the floor. Just a few breaths. And we can move our legs backward to the central position, release it. Take your breath and then turn on the side and then use the hands to move yourself up and to a sitting position. I hope the exercise today has been quite useful for you. A little stretching in winter time. Today, December 5, take the time to sit up. Take the time to sit up and just take, just sit and breathe and release 
and feel this peace. No one has the answers to life. Everyone is the answer to life. Even the most brilliant among us cannot explain the most important questions. Why are we here? What is our purpose? What happens after we die? Remember today that just being fully you is enough. So when you are tired, getting low energy, we can also be ourselves and allow ourselves to release and to relax. Thank you so much everybody for joining me. I hope wish you a great weekend and see you next Friday for our meditation. As usual, thank you so much. See you again, my friends.